Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to replace the battery in this Asus VivoBook S 510U is the model number. And, um, you know, this laptop doesn't have a CMOS battery. Um, it's not powering on anymore unless it's plugged in and it's not keeping the time. So the, the battery is uh, no longer good in there. And so I ordered this battery off of eBay. Um, here is the information on this one right up here. Uh, B31N1637. Uh, and this is a used one. Um, you know, I got a, a pretty good deal on it, and we just wanted to try a used battery uh, in this laptop um, rather than buying a new one. Um, you know, this seemed like a good option, so and the price was right. Um, and then I have a plastic pry tool here, which I'll show you for that, uh, what that is for shortly. And then um, I have just a small Phillips head screwdriver here that we're going to need. So um, let's shut the screen here. And we're gonna flip this over. And let me get a little bit better view of the back of the laptop here, and then we'll begin. Okay, and before we begin, whenever you're working with tools and batteries, uh, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment um, to replace the battery in the Asus uh, S510U laptop today. I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles. Um, and make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, so, um, you know, the first thing is to uh, make sure that you have your safety equipment on and then make sure that the laptop is unplugged. And then we need to take uh, the two uh, rubber feet off here, and that's what I'm going to use this plastic pry tool for. Um, if you use metal, um, you know, you have a, uh, you know, a pretty high chance of damaging the plastic. So if you use a plastic pry tool, there's just less of a chance of damaging uh, the plastic around the rubber feet. So I'm just going to gently put the pry tool in here. And this one's already come off. We've had to take this off before, so that one came off pretty easy. Um, and let's take this one off here. There we go, and that one came off there. And then I'm just going to set these to the side uh, so we don't lose them. And there are 12 screws on the back here that we need to take out. They're all around the perimeter um, of the bottom of the laptop. There's one here, and then there's one uh, where each of the rubber feet went. So um, when we take these out too, you wanna uh, pay attention to uh, where you're taking the screw out from uh, because there are different size screws in each of the areas. So you want to make sure that these do go back uh, into the correct spot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take all the screws out um, and then I'll be back and I'll show you the next step. And I'm also going to remove anything that's plugged into the laptop uh, such as this USB wireless adapter here. Let me take that out and we'll just set that to the side. And this is what I like to do with the screws from the bottom of the laptop. I just set them up in the same pattern that they came out of the bottom of the laptop. Uh, so I know, uh, you know, which um, uh, pattern to put them back into uh, when I reinstall them. And you can see that there are multiple different uh, lengths of screws there. So uh, just a good idea to keep track of them so you know which screw goes back into which spot. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to lift the laptop up here and then just open up the screen a little bit. And I'm going to, um, you know, hold on to the frame of the bottom of the laptop here and then just gently pry away uh, the bottom of the, la uh, the bottom cover of the laptop until we can get it started here. Um, and I'm going to use the plastic pry tool to get us started. There we go. Um, and then once it's started, I'm just going to shut the laptop screen and I'm going to lay the laptop back down here. And then I'll just gently work my way around um, the whole bottom of the laptop here until we get the cover off. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is remove this screw here. 
Um, so then we can take this out and you can see that the wires here work themselves through the battery. So we're just going to remove the screw and then gently move this piece and the wires out of the way. Um, and then we will remove the rest of the screws that are holding uh, the battery in place and we'll go from there. So um, first thing, let's take this screw out. Just going to set that to the side in a new area and then gently take this out. And then we are going to gently uh, just work the wires um, out of the battery here. Like so. And we'll just kind of move this uh, for right now just to the side. Uh, now we are going to take out uh, the screws that are holding the battery in place. There's one there. And same thing, we want to make sure that we keep track of the screws that we take out, um, just in case there are different lengths. There's one there. Uh, one right here. And there is a cover piece here, so I'm just going to pull that back. And we got a couple more screws here where the battery um, meets up with the hard drive. So we're going to take those screws out. There's that one. And there is that one. Okay. Okay, so to get the battery out, I'm just going to take this piece off here and just set it to the side. We are going to have to get the hard drive out because there is a, a plastic clip here on this side of the battery that goes underneath the uh, metal part uh, right here from the hard drive case. So um, there is a screw right here for the hard drive. Let's take that one out. And keep track of these. That one I just took out is a different length. And then there's one right here. Those two uh, that I just took out are shorter um, than these two. And then we're just going to gently, um, the hard drive is connected right here. So when we uh, lift this up just a little bit and then just pull it back like so and then we can remove the hard drive and I'm just going to set that off to the side um, and now we have access to the battery and then it's clipped in right here um, so in order to get that out and I wonder um, if that was the problem because there's a metal clip right here that holds this in place where the battery um, connection meets the motherboard there. And it seems to be bent out of place. This metal piece here um, should clip over the top of that. And it was not. So anyways, uh, from here, once you have this piece disconnected, the silver piece uh, right here let me move this out of the way, uh, slides back. You can see how it's sliding back and forth. Um, and, you know, the, the silver piece was off. And here is the old battery here. Um, and you can see it has the same model number there, B31N1637. Let's see how easy um, the new one will uh, slide into place. So I'm just going to fit this into place like so, just so we can see if this silver piece wants to go over this one easier or not. Let me take a closer look at this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the silver piece to go over here. 
Um, you just got to be really careful. Um, I don't know if this one's bent or what's going on with it, but this is what it looks like um, when it's uh, all the way in place. Let me get you a closer look. This is what it looks like here, and I'd just be really careful because you don't want to break that silver piece off um, that holds the, the battery connector in place. So, okay, let me get the camera back on the tripod and we will reassemble everything. Okay, so now I am going to uh, reinstall the hard drive and we're just going to line this up like so. And then once it's lined up, just gently push it back into place. And then this side of the hard drive should just seat back down in there like so. Um, and then we're going to put uh, the screws back in here. There we go. Okay, there's the first one. And here's the second one here. Okay. Now we're going to put these two screws back in. Um, here's this one here. And then this one here. Okay, so uh, now we're going to put this cover piece back on, um, like so. This just went right over like that. It's kind of got a, a sticky part on the back of it, so we're just going to uh, gently press down on it like that. Okay, so now we are going to get the rest of the screws back into the battery here. There was one here. And there was one here. And then there was one right up here, like so. Now we're going to take uh, this here and we are going to rework um, the wires through the battery. Um, and there's just down this channel here, it just kind of weaves back and forth. And then once we have that one in there, like so, we'll do the same thing with the other one here. Let me come to the other side here. Okay, and then I'm going to fit this back in here and just gently uh, push it into place like so. And now we got to put the screw back in to hold it down, which is right here. Okay, let's just make sure that's centered and in place. Okay, so now we're just going to double check our work and make sure that we didn't miss anything. Need to just fix this wire here. It's got one more little spot there that it weaved into, but there we go. Okay, so um, once we have double checked our work, now we can uh, reinstall the back cover uh, onto the laptop here. And we're just going to gently put this into place. Um, and then just make sure that all of the clips snap into place. And then once we've done that, oops, now we can uh, reinstall all of the screws. Okay, and then once you have all the screws put back into the bottom of the laptop, don't forget to put the um, rubber feet back on here like so. And let's flip this over here and open it up. Okay. 
and we can see that the power button light turned on there and we'll give the screen here a second. You can hear the computer working and there we go, the computer's booting up. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.